okay, wow, this was some really good stuff. And how many of you know that there's not really a lot of stuff that is new? So whatever we write, whatever we uh, develop as our signature product or program or our signature story um, is unique to us and provide some additional insight because it's coming from our individual expression. Um, but a lot of our stuff is timeless. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. gravity does not change. Right. And a truth is a truth. Yes, exactly. Yes. And I think that's, you know, that um, Buddha is saying when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And the teacher may have been there, and there may have been thousands of people that you heard say the same thing. And yet, when you are ready to hear something, someone will say it in such a way that it resonates with you. Yes. And I love when that happens. I love I, seeing the look on the people's face. And I do and, too. Yeah. 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 So you, you do such interesting work. You must meet just some phenomenal people. I do. I really do. And because my work is with purpose driven, mission driven entrepreneurs, I really get to play in the heart space of business. Oh, I love it. Yes. Yes. You know, I I think that's a heart space. That's a beautiful way of putting it. And right now, um, I believe that women are starting a lot of heart-centered businesses. There's, and some of them are coaching, some of them, and it, all different things. Some coaches are like you business coaches some coaches help people with one particular problem like i don't only coach divorced people and yet that is my strongest mm -hmm. coaching capability and we are so fortunate to live in this time of heart-centered businesses yes we are why do you think that's happening well, because it's it's time. It's necessary. It uh, was coming around. And I like to think, too, that with the state of affairs of a lot of people in the world, the desire to help is bigger than ever. We've had some major catastrophes to happen in our country that we haven't really seen as much as in other countries. And so we've been able to rally our hearts, minds, and dollars to help those around us, our neighbors and families and friends and friend, family of friends that we would not otherwise be thinking about. And so I think that a lot of that has caused people to look at, I mean, look at the fires in California oh. and the floods in Florida and in Texas. I mean, it's those types of things that open people's hearts. And I have a saying because, you know, being heart centered and doing heart centered work, a lot of times, too, people think, you know, well, I don't want others to know because, you know, they'll come out of the woodwork and everyone will want something. Well, maybe, but suppose it causes people to come together mm -hmm. to do something in a more collaborative way. And if it takes one open heart in order to start the conversation and bring that about, we're all better for it. And so I have this saying that open hearts open hearts so be the open heart because it's important for more of us to be in this space of collaborating i do a training on for-profit non-profit partnering because in fundraising we all know that when you get to a non-profit it's tax deductible well there are a lot of non-profits who want to partner with for-profit businesses because it helps the for-profit business almost as much as it does, if not more, the nonprofit because of the 
message going out to a greater market. People are seeing what the nonprofit organization is doing and the alignment between the nonprofit and the for profit really has a certain energy of heart to it. So we're we're in that time. You are absolutely right about that. And what how fortunate for us that we are. So what advice would you give to a young woman that has a dream of starting her own business and really doesn't know where to start? I would advise her to go to her heart and ask the universe to show her the way. And then be open to what comes using discernment to see if it's in alignment with whatever comes is in alignment with the direction that you'd like to go. And then I also want to speak to those who say, you know, I want to do something, but I'm not even sure what it is. I don't know what my purpose and my passion is. I don't know who to connect with, and I've been seeking this for a while. I say again, go to your heart, because... All of who we are, think about it, the heart is the center of us, who we are. And the heart was the first cell of our conception. And everything about who we are physically, mentally, and otherwise comes, stems from the growth of our heart. And a lot of times when we get into these places of turmoil and pain, we shut our heart down. And we stop communicating through our heart. And it's all brain work, right? And that's where all the chatter starts and all of the things that we find ourselves in that are suffering is because we don't get filtered through the heart. My heart's been hurt. Yeah, well, join the club. Um, and if you're searching for your passion and your purpose, go to your heart and ask the universe, ask God to show you what his plan is for you. We all came here when our hearts were first conceived with an agreement with the universe, with God, that we were born for a purpose. We survived in that five million cells to come to who we are because we made an agreement with God that we had a place of purpose and passion in us. And once we are open, the open heart to seeing what that is, it will be shown, uh, and there's no denying it. If there is something you've been good at for your entire life, and you've been trying to deny it or deny it, and it keeps coming back up, look at that. If you've been in a space where you are trying to find, well, what is it that I do like? That's a place of exploration. That's an adventure. Go test this and test that and see. Um, I don't have a job. I'm broke. How do I do that? Dream. What would you like to do? What do you believe would make you happy? And explore going in that direction. And that's the advice. It's a long-winded way around it, but that is the advice that I would give to a young woman who's starting to explore that space. Go to your heart. Ask God for guidance. I love it. That's really good advice. And then squelch those limiting beliefs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes when you are on the right path like that, you don't even have them. Well, sometimes when you're on the right path and you have those limiting beliefs, it feels like you're carrying a boulder on your shoulders and if you're in that space and it feels like you're walking uphill and around the mountain and you're carrying this big old boulder on your shoulders and it's just so hard that's a sign that boulder represents some of those limiting beliefs mm -hmm. because it's trying not to allow you to get to your dreams and there's a way for that for you to drop the boulder you can do a piecemeal you know five weeks or five years or you can just drop it five seconds mm -hmm. seek help 
there are so many heart-centered individuals out there who do um, talk therapy to help you just open up things inside of you. Uh, hypnosis. I also mm -hmm. use hypnosis with some of my clients who just are ready to open up but don't know how. Mm -hmm. And I really take them into the space of that beta theta state where I can speak to the subconscious mind to help it to open up and to release some of the things that keep the door closed, so to speak. But yeah, that. if you're walking around feeling like you're carrying a boulder on your shoulders, look into it. That's something to explore. Lovely. Well, boy, I've just so enjoyed having you as a guest. I'm hoping that you'll come back frequently and share your wisdom with us. It, it was quite lovely. Thank you. I would love to. Excellent. And we need to talk offline, too, because uh, I'm really happy that we connected. I am as well, Deborah. You know, we have had the opportunity, and I want to express that to the audience as well. We've had an opportunity to communicate and be connected, but, you know, it's, it's totally different when you are really connected. And that's something that I said at the beginning of 2018 I wanted to do in a bigger way, was to connect with some of the people that I have known for a while in other virtual spaces. And thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to share with your audience and to get to know you better. I love what you're doing, oh. and I'd be happy to return. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Consider us connected. Yes. <laughs> All right, great. I will get in touch with you very soon. But in the meantime, why don't you tell us how we can get in touch with you? Absolutely. Well, I'd love it if you would find me at my website at P as in Paul or Prosperity 3academy.com. So P for Prosperity, the number three academy.com and I do a goddesspreneur a best you goddesspreneur mastermind where I help women grow their businesses and there's some crowdfunding information there as well because I'm about to launch the crowd crowdfunding hacker tv show and just you know call me the crowdfunding hacker queen because having more women, more entrepreneurs find crowdfunding to solve a capital need is my focus with the TV show and my goal in the crowdfunding hacker family. Excellent. I'm all about it. I'm, I'm up in there. I want to tell you it. because, <laughs> you know, and sometimes we don't look at money properly. And if we look at it as a tool and, I'm just now, I've had a lot of self-limiting beliefs and I'm overcoming them now and it makes me feel so much better because my original goal was to help as many people as I possibly could. And it always seemed like that money thing was the thing holding me back and I honestly do not feel like that anymore. And that may be the exact reason that we were brought together. Yes, the universe is supporting us both with this connection mm -hmm. the time is now and you know it's it's so important now because we have additional support out there with the me too movement and mm -hmm. the times up movement it's time for us to move forward in a bigger way to not only realize our own dreams but to really help those mm -hmm. who we've positioned ourselves to help Excellent. So, I yes, p3academy.com. Excellent. Thank, thank you, you, Deborah. Thank you. We'll be talking soon. Okay. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye, everyone. So, I'll tell you, the universe is a kind person, a kind whatever entity, because if you, I don't know, it's just so wonderful when people like this are brought into our lives. Look how much we learned from her today. And I, I encourage you to listen to this over and over again. Check out her website, 
find her on Facebook. Get involved in, in the comments that people are making on her Facebook page because they're all truly heart-centered good people. These are the people that you want to surround yourself by.